Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of money, specifically how we can count a collection of coins and represent the value with the sentence symbol and the dollar sign and decimal point, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see we have a scattered collection of coins on the screen, both heads and tails. So if this was actual money, I would suggest you take your money and you line it up from the largest value to the smallest value. Since this is on the screen, it might be stuck. So what I want to do is show you how you can count money even if it's on the screen and you can't physically move any of the coins. So what I would suggest would be starting with your largest values first because that's what you're wanting to start with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw two coins like this. And I'm just going to write the value inside of it. So I've got two quarters, 25 cents. Now we're looking at dimes, both heads and tails. I see one, two, three. So I'm just going to write 10, 10, and 10. And let's see, I've got three nickels. I've got two heads and tails, so I'm just going to write five. Even though the nickels are larger than dimes and pennies, don't worry too much about the size of these coins. We're writing the value inside. Two, three, and so when we're skip counting to count our money, we're always going to start with our largest values first, and then we're just going to move down to our smallest. So I'm just going to write the counting value of each as it's added to everything that's been there before. So 25 plus another 25 is going to be 50. It's 25 and 25 and 50. I'm going to add another 10 is going to be 60. Add another 10 is 70. I've got 10 is 80. Now I've got skip time by 5. So 85, 90, 95, 96. Now we're going by 1s. 98. So 98 cents can be written in two different ways. So the number 98 with a cent symbol. So this means 98 cents. But you can also, write it with a dollar sign, zero dollars, because I'm two cents away from making a whole dollar. Zero point ninety-eight. Now you can write it this way, or you can write it this way. What you don't want to do is you don't want to mix the two. This doesn't make any sense. So either use the cent symbol or use the dollar sign. Let's look at another example. Now we have a new collection, and as you can see, they're kind of bunched up a little bit. But once again, we can at least see which coins they are. We're going to start with our largest coins first. So I count one, two, three quarters. So let's go ahead and we've got a little bit of room up here. Let's put those up here. I'm just going to draw three circles, each with the value of a quarter. So that's 25 cents. Next, I see one lonely dime. So I'm going to draw that with a 10. Another lonely nickel. It looks like I've got one, two pennies. So just like I did last time, I'm going to start skip counting. I'm going to start with our, my largest value first. And I'm just going to write those underneath each of the coins that I've drawn. So 25. Two 25s makes a 50. Now if I want to add another 25, that's going to get me up to 75. So one quarter is 25 cents, two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents. If I get to four quarters, that's a dollar, but I'm not quite there yet. So I need to skip count by tens from 75. So I'm just going to change the tens digit from a seven to an eight. Now I've got 85, add five, 85. The next one is 90. Then I'm just going to add one, 91, 92. So remember, if I wanted to draw this as a dollar and cents, I would draw a dollar sign, 0 0.92. That means $0.92. Or if I just wanted to draw the cents, because I have a value less than a dollar, I can write the 92 in the cent symbol. Uh, remember, as always, you're not going to combine the two. It just uh, looks strange, and honestly, it doesn't make sense.